Hey everyone, it's Carissa at Sprinkled with Glitter. Thanks for stopping by today. Look what I have in my hot little hands. <laughs> it is the We Are Memory Keepers Typecast Typewriter in Mint. I adore this. I showed it on my Instagram and some people were wanting to kind of see a review and I have some projects to share with you as well. So this typewriter is really built like an old vintage retro typewriter. It looks like one, it feels like one, and it behaves like one. So I'm going to kind of explain what I think that means here in just a bit. I'm loading my paper into the typewriter. You saw me playing with the release there. This button here has a black or a color ribbon strip. So there are different replacement ribbons that you can get in different colors. And I'm going to start typing here. Now, I want to make it clear that I do know how to type properly. <laughs> I type actually probably pretty fast, but I tend to type with my first fingers on this typewriter because the keys are, like I said, built like a vintage typewriter. So they require a little more force. They don't have like the um, light touch option like you have with your computer keyboard. So it takes a little more strength to kind of push these keys down. Like I said before, it's built like a vintage typewriter. It really works like a vintage typewriter. You can see here the little key got stuck. That is something that happens with vintage typewriters. It's not something that ruins it. You just pull that little um, hammer or key back down and you just keep going. Now there are times when I feel like I don't push it the key hard enough and I don't get a good impression of that, I just backspace and hit that key once again and kind of darken that up. When I get to the end of the line, I just push that lever in and push my little, I don't even know what that's called, like the roller slider thing that holds the paper. <laughs> I just push it back over to the beginning of the line and I can just keep typing. So I'm just typing here just to show you some of this. It has the two colors. It gives that vintage look. It does not give a super solid. This is not gonna look like a piece of paper that you printed from your computer. It's gonna look like something that you typed on a vintage typewriter. Now there's also tab sets. I haven't figured those out yet and I doubt I ever will take the time to figure it out. I'm sure it's fairly simple, but I am just too lazy to do it. <laughs> And then there's this quick release here where you can slide that carrier kind of back and forth quickly. Now, once again, like I said, you're going to push that lever in to move it over to the side. And there's also this really cool automatic key down here in this lower left-hand corner that makes it go across the page super fast. So We Are Memory Keepers was very kind. They sent me a whole bunch of their typeset collection to try out the papers and the embellishments and that sort of thing. I do want to make it clear, I purchased the typewriter. Um, so they just sent me some goodies to kind of play with. And I'm just giving you a look at some of those here. I love this collection because it really goes with that vintage feel. It has that really vintage ephemera feel. And it has these really cool accents with what they're calling rose gold. I, I think they're kind of rose gold or coppery. I showed you the eight and a half by 11 um, paper pad there. There's also this really cool wax seal kit. And I will also be using the 12 by 12 paper pad in this as well. So I'm starting out with a piece of that pattern paper. I've cut it down to an A2 card size. And I've gone ahead and taking, taken some Inka Dinka Do stamp masking paper and cut a heart out of the side of this. That's because I'm going to do some masking. I'm going to do some typing in a shape. Now you could take the time to figure out how to type I love you more perfectly in a heart shape by adding all your spaces and that sort of thing. But I ain't going to do that. <laughs> So I just cut a mask out. Now I did find that the mask was wanting to catch on these little plastic guards that are there to kind of keep the paper in place. So I did kind of have to adjust it as I went and as I was typing. But I went ahead and started typing and the mask is going to keep the typing from going outside of that heart area. So when I'm done, I will have this area that's in the shape of a heart that's totally typed in. I am just typing, I love you more. And I'm just doing it over and over again. Now, when I get to the end of a line here, I'm going to pick up that sentiment right where I left off. So if I end on the R-E of more, I'm gonna start with I love you at the beginning. 
If I end with the you, I'm going to start with the more at the beginning of the next line just to kind of stagger the sentiment out a little bit so it doesn't look like it's always starting with I love you more. It just kind of gives it that I don't know, ra more random feel instead of all perfectly typed there. So you can see I'm working my way to the bottom of this heart there. As I went on, as I advanced the paper, I did have to adjust the mask a few times because it wanted to pull up. And when I pull this mask off, I am going to be left with this perfect little heart that has I love you more typed over and over and again in it. And I love that. Now, while I have my typewriter out, I'm going to type several pieces to use on different cards, and then we're going to go through and put all of these cards together at the end. So now I'm taking one of these journaling type cards from the Typecast collection. Did I call it Typeset earlier? It is Typecast. I don't even remember if I called it that, but it is the Typecast collection. I always want to call it the Typeset collection. Type cast. I got it. And I'm going to just use a piece of masking tape to hold it onto a larger piece of paper. I felt like that was an easier way to type on these smaller pieces of paper. And then I'm going to go through here and I am going to start assembling some of these cards. So I've typed several different pieces, little embellishments, little pattern papers, and that sort of thing. And now I'm going to turn them all into cards. So for this heart one, I went ahead and typed on another piece of pattern paper, FYI, I love you more. I attached it to the card front using some foam adhesive just right across the bottom of that typed car heart that I created earlier. And now I'm putting a piece of this foil accented wood grain pattern paper along the bottom of that strip. And I'm going to take this entire piece of pattern paper and adhere it down onto a craft colored card base. Look how simple and easy that was, and it's a super cute card with this really fun retro feel. Now I wanted to add a pop of pink. None of this paper pad has any pink, and I know that pink has been like probably way overused in the pattern paper world, but I still love pink. So I went ahead and just used a die to cut out a couple of little hearts there, and I attached them onto the card using some foam adhesive, and that completes the first card. Super easy, right? <laughs> So now let's get into using this wax seal. I thought it would be fun to create this fun butterfly wax seal and use it as an embellishment on my card. Now kids, do not try this at home without parental supervision. I am using a lighter here to light this little wax, I don't know, stick to melt the wax. And I am using a clipboard on my work surface so that I don't ruin anything with heat. And I'm also using my Ranger nonstick craft sheet to melt this wax onto. Now, usually in the past, um, and I wasn't alive when they did this, but I, so I've heard, you would melt it right onto the envelope and then use your seal to kind of seal it on there. And, but I wanted to be able to use this as an individual embellishment and not ruin my card project. I was having a lot of trouble using the fire to melt these. I'm going to be flat out honest. This is not my cup of tea. And I was like, how can I do this? I decided I was going to use my uh, Hero Arts embossing gun to melt this wax. And it worked like a charm for me. So I just used it. I let it get super hot. I let it melt a little pile of the white wax there onto my craft sheet. I placed the seal on top, and now I'm just lifting it off with my little spatula there. And I'm going to attach it onto this piece that I created with my little typewriter earlier. I'm using some Tombow Mono Multi-Glue to attach this on. And I'm just adding it to a piece of the 12 by 12 pattern paper that I cut down. It has that tag pre-printed on it. I ran it through the typewriter and typed the sentiment, beautiful you, beautiful, beautiful you along the bottom of that tag. And now I'm going to layer this up and create a quick and easy card. So I just added a little bit of fun foam to the back of that pattern paper piece just to add some dimension. And now I'm going to add a piece of this foil embellished pattern paper along the bottom. I'm telling you guys, I love that wood grain pattern paper with that foil embellishment. It is, I mean, seriously, can't get over it. <laughs> so for a little more dimension, I'm going to add some fun foam onto the back of the pattern paper that I mounted that whole thing to that 
pattern paper in the background once again is from the 12 by 12 pattern paper pad. It's the typecast pattern paper pad. And now I'm going to add this entire thing to a craft card base. These are all A2 size cards. Those measure four and a quarter by five and a half. I decided once I got this all on there that I really wanted to add some string through the top of that tag. So I'm carefully just lifting up this piece. I'm gonna use my crocodile to punch a hole through the top of that tag. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of pink and white baker's twine to the top. I'm gonna to tie it in a bow. That brings in that pink color that I love so much. I think it just adds a fun feminine pop to this kind of color scheme that's going on in the typecast paper pads. And I have to say that all of these typecast elements, they have really nailed that vintage feel. The aqua, like the kind of green aqua that they've used with it, it really nails that like vintage ledger feel. So now for the next card, I've taken one of the typecast tags. That's a pre-created tag here. I've typed on it. I think it says to you, yes, you from moi. And I've typed that on the top of the tag and I'm adding a few little die cuts. Now these dies are some old school, we are memory keepers dies. I've cut an, like an Instagram type frame. I've used one of the typecast labels there, that little circle sticker. And I'm just kind of stacking all of these up to make kind of a fun arrangement onto this card front. Now this is all going to hang over that A2 size card. You can see I have that little like craft color in colored index card that is from the typecast collection as well and before I adhere this all down because I got smart this time I added my twine to my tag before I attached it onto my card project <laughs> that's a novel concept right and so now I'm just going to attach this all on here and I've die cut a banner from that pink cardstock that I've been using and I typed I just love you on there. I've stacked it up over that label that is a part of the typecast collection and now I'm just using this little like pointy finger. I think it's from a, a We Are Memory Keepers albums made easy die set that I've had in my stash for quite some time. And I put all of those elements on there using various layers of foam adhesive, some of it's just tape runner adhesive, just to add different levels of dimension. Now I'm going to finish off this final card here. I have a journaling tag that I've just typed on there. I've added one of the labels along the side. It's kind of like a tab shaped label there. And I've added a little bit of that fun foam behind that to add some dimension. You could also use some foam squares or foam adhesive. And I'm going to attach this onto a pattern paper card front. I once again used my favorite wood grain pattern paper from this typecast collection. And I'm just going to adhere that right over the top. Now I'm going to finish this off with a couple die cut hearts. Once again, this is an older We Are Memory Keepers die set. I've just attached those on there using some foam adhesive. And then I'm gonna add a couple of little banner shaped pattern paper pieces to the upper left hand corner. And I've just attached those on using my Tim Holtz tiny attacher stapler. And I actually have some gold staples in it that I created myself. I will link a video where I show, it's an old video from me where I show how I create those. Then I just finished the card off by adding a little pink and white twine along the bottom. So that completes it. Four different fast and easy card projects featuring the We Are Memory Keepers typeset typewriter. You can see a look at it. I had people ask me, is it like more of a mint blue or a more of a mint green? I think this picture here, at least on my screen, gives a really true representation of the color of this typewriter, and I adore it. It sits in my craft room. It is not only a fun, decorative element in my craft room, but it's very useful because I can use it on tags, I can use it on cards, I can type little sub sentiments for my card fronts when I have like a die cut sentiment that I wanna add something to. So it's just really a fun piece maybe something you wanna put on your Christmas list this year. And here's a look at all of my final completed card projects here. Just wanted to show you that up close, that really vintage feel that you get from the typing on this typewriter. As always, I will have links to all the featured products used in these projects in the description at YouTube. And I will have a complete list of products used in these projects over at my blog at sprinkledwithglitter.com where you can see more still shots and find more information. 
I hope you enjoyed this look at the We Are Memory Keepers Typecast typewriter and these projects that I have to go along with it. Thanks for stopping by today. And until next time, I hope you have a fabulous day.